Today, right? I am in a, a, a great mood, right? I just finished up my first day at work, right? So my first time, sort of. I don't what well, I mean. There was else. There was someone else there, but like this, this was my first kind of official day, um, and I'm buzzing purely because it's going to be a great place to work. Everyone's sound. Like I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to be good at the job. Like, it's, it's, it's gonna be good. I'm looking forward to it. I mean, like, in the last video, you guys kind of saw me getting a bit, um, not upset, just like, kind of letting you guys know how I feel about finishing uni and all that kind of stuff. And I didn't really know how to explain it. But I mean, it's sad and it's, 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 it's really sad. Um, you know, it's the, the end of a chapter sort of thing. But I'm really looking forward to getting started. I really am. I cannot wait because it's, it's just something completely different, something completely new uh, that I've never done before. And I know, like, I, I kind of woke woke up and like went to bed last night, planning on showing you guys as much of my day as possible. But obviously, it's like a nice place um, full of people that are paying a fair amount of money, and so I can't be waving my camera around. And plus, I don't want to be that guy who walks around with a camera as soon as I get there. Like, I want the people to want the people to judge me and get to know me from for me, not my camera, sort of thing. As weird as that might sound, it may, makes sense in my head. Um, but no, absolutely awesome first day, really enjoyed it and I know I'm going to really enjoy the job and that was, you know, a big deal to me, so yeah. That's actually kind of it for the kind of work portion and the title, of, I know the title of the video is my first day um, because it's a big part in my kind of step moving forward from graduation and although I couldn't actually show you any of it, I can like talk to you about it, show my excitement for it and you know my feelings and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I thought it would be worthy of the video title. So don't get mad, you know, just because that's it. Like, it's just going to be a normal vlog from now on. We'll probably train a little bit later and stuff like that. So today's video is going to be a freaking good one. We got it started off on a good note. So please drop it a like and a comment down below. Let's get it started. There's my watch. I needed this all day. Oh, it's specifically for work as well. Ah, it's done now. Hi. Hi. Hey, Jess. Hey, Flicky. Flick, what do you think of my first day? Hey. Hey. You, 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 you don't care, do you? Selfish. Right, Love Island is on. It's the final tonight, so you guys will know the results by the time this video comes out. But, my prediction, Jack and Danny first, Wes and Megan second, and Josh and Kaz third. That's been my prediction for about the last six weeks. Confirmation from Camera Woman. True. True. Put your thoughts on the comments. Mm. Zero calorie. Well, they didn't last long. Them. Oh. oh, that means um, that means I was way, way off. Mind you, for what's her name? What's her? Is her name Laura? Laura. For Laura to stay in this long, that's quite surprising. So she must have a loyal kind of fan base because of all the shit she's been through yeah. at home. Not many people like Megan and Wes either, because no one likes Megan. Yeah, but people like Wes. <laughs> Interesting. Josh. Told you. Oh, well, yeah. Oh, Sherlock. 
the same every year with Love Island. Someone who comes in, two people come in, stay together from day one, that are from a similar place, that miraculously know of each other before they go into the villa, and they end up winning every single year. Don't get me wrong, I love the show, but it's, uh, it's irritating, man. It's irritating. But then at the same time, I wouldn't have really wanted Laura to win either, so, you know. It's been a while since you guys have had a proper explanation as to who is who. I did a competition on a video and gave out a discount code um, maybe six weeks ago, something like that. But this is Flicky. She is the short haired scaredy cat one of the two. And this is Jessie. You're the little fluffy one that's an absolute nutter, aren't you, Jess? Now they're both rescue dogs, and so I'm not entirely sure how old they are but Flick is around about eight and Jessie's around about four. We don't know the exact dates, we don't know when they were born, we don't know exactly how old they are because of the situations which sort of led to us. <laughs> because of the situations that led to us actually getting them, um, we don't know for sure but we kind of had a, have an idea. You know, like, when we got Flick, she was about 18 months old. When we got Jessie, she was about four months old. Something like that. But no one really knows, and we don't know. And that kind of bugs me a little bit, because I like to give them a birthday present, and I don't know their birthdays, if you know what I mean. But anyway, I've got a package that I want to show you guys what's inside. Um, purely because... Right, okay, long story short... Myself and Charlotte have booked a trip to Liverpool this weekend, so the next video you see will probably be a training vlog, because I haven't trained in the vlog for a long time. Um, well, I say a long time, about three videos, but that's a long time for me, right? And um, as a treat for going to Liverpool, I thought I'd buy another new shirt. I couldn't decide which one I wanted, so I got two. The craziest thing about this is, right, I ordered it at around about 10 to 11 last night, something like that. Um, and by sort of half past ten this morning, it was here. So, we have two. Are they, are they your nan's curtains? Are they like your old tiling or the, or... I'm not sure. Either way. One sec. So this is the one we liked probably the most. Um, and to be honest, I mean, it, it's a bit tight. I mean, if I kind of go in like this, I mean, I like the, I like the, um, the pattern and the colours and all that kind of stuff. And this is the one we probably wanted the, the most. I say we because I kind of had a discussion with Charlotte about which ones to buy. But the reason I keep going to Boohoo is because they always have a discount code on. And the shirts are really nice. They have like loads of different options that are pretty... Uh, you can more often than not get the one you want in stock. And this is a medium. So, I mean, kind of... I'd say the most popular size would be a medium or, or a large. The reason I like them personally is because you can always get a shirt that fits really well. That isn't too expensive, like some stupid overpriced shirt. And it's also not too thick. It's not like heavy cotton. This is like nice thin. If you guys can see how just how thin that material is there. Some people might think of that as like all really cheap and crappy quality. Um, but I kind of look at that and think, yes, I'm not going to sweat to death in this year. I just need to figure out how to... Ah, right, okay. <laughs> okay. This one doesn't fit. I probably prefer this design, but look. Look at me. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's great. But it just doesn't fit. I kind of looked at the model, which never really, if you ask me, is a, is a good indication. It's never a good indication of how well a shirt's gonna fit you, is how well, how it fits the model. Because they can be like, oh, this guy's six foot two, uh, and he's wearing a medium. And I'm like, okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm five foot seven, and you know, I, I lift. And I could see that the guy maybe been to the gym a few times, and you know, had built a good amount of muscle, but he doesn't commit to it the same way that I do. And um, yeah, I don't know. 
Maybe I'm just too fat. But anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, my first day's at work and you know, I've kind of got to get showered up and head off to my next day at work now. I've been in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, so I've been a busy, busy bee. But uh, the next vlog will be a training vlog, so stay tuned for that and drop a like if you are looking forward to that. Again, the video after that will be in Liverpool. I don't know how I'm going to do it. It might be kind of vlog, highlights kind of thing. Um, but either way, it should be good. It's going to be a great trip that myself and Charlotte are going to embark upon. So, please drop a like if you have enjoyed today's video, guys. It would mean a lot. It helps us grow, and you know that together we will grow. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and thank you so much for your support on this graduation series. Um, it really does mean a lot, and I'm glad that I can, you know, share it with such positive people, because a lot of people have negative comment sections, and you guys are the best. So, thank you so much for that. Drop a like if you did enjoy, and a comment down below. Subscribe if you are new. Together we will grow, and I will see you guys in a bigger shirt in the next video.